So guys, here is what to do in case your volume buttons on your iPhone appear to be non-functional. So what to do if they don't work. The first step or the first series of steps is to make sure that they're really not working. Because a lot of times it can happen that you have a case, a lot of people have covers and there are so many different cases, protective stuff that you can put on your iPhone and those have these uh, buttons and it can happen that uh, through the case it is kind of hard to press the volume button so it may appear that you're actually pressing it but perhaps nothing is going on so if you want to fix this or try it out just take your case off like this and press the buttons without the case like this is obvious but i have to mention it so of course now when you press the buttons like this you, you can see the volume slider right here and it changes as you press the button so for me it does work however there could be a glitch with the animation right here so perhaps it doesn't happen to you that this thing pops up for this go to the control center and check out if this thing this slider is rising up or going down or whatever it's doing whenever you're pressing the button so perhaps the animation didn't pop up for some reason because of some software reason and for that go to the control center to see if it changes in here so yeah as you know if the volume buttons don't work you can always just change and slide up the volume like this so you can also do it through the software so it's not like uh, something that would prevent you from using the iPhone altogether. Well, there could also be some problems with the ringer and uh, the volume. So the volume buttons can do some different uh, things. For example, you can use uh, the volume rockers uh, to raise uh, the volume of your content or raise uh, the volume of your ringer when you're receiving a phone call or getting notification. To change it or to find out what it does to you, go to the settings and go to the uh, sounds and haptics. So change with buttons. For example, you can see here is uh, the, the ringtone and alert volume. If you click on a change with buttons, you can see now on uh, the home screen when you press uh, the volume up and down button, the rocker doesn't appear here but the ringer at the top from the dynamic island so for right now i'm not changing the volume of my content but instead the volume of my ringer so that's a different thing for example you may be pressing the volume buttons to raise the volume of your ringtone and nothing happens then that's the case of course if you want to have access to it then you can try out the assistive touch so if you go to your settings accessibility and click on touch here is the assistive touch. For me, it is disabled. So I'm going to turn it on and customize at the top level menu. You're going to click on plus and the icon that you're going to add is supposed to be the volume up and volume down icon. So let's say I'm going to add it the volume up, hit done. I'm going to click on another icon, which is going to be uh, the volume down. And right now my assistive touch, when I click on it, I can see that you can get the volume up and down. So you can check and change the volume in here. So um, it's very easy to do it that way too. So we are again not um, using the physical buttons. We are using the software assistive touch to add and lower the volume, increase and lower it. So there are the options to do so as well. So if you're not happy with these fixes and you assume that something is going on with the software, there are also some basic things you can try out. So for example, restart your iPhone. Of course, hold down the power button and the volume button. Chances are that it doesn't work. And if it in fact doesn't work, then you're not going to be able to turn your iPhone using the volume button. For this, you're going to have to go to your settings because you can also turn off your iPhone without the hardware buttons so here in the settings go to the general and here at the bottom is the shut down button so clicking on the shut down button allows you to turn off your iphone like this without the need to ever press the side and volume buttons then of course go to the uh, if you are still in the general section go to the software update and make sure you're running the latest version of ios for me it's the ios 16.3.1 which i should install and it's not out uh, um, it's still not installed on my device this could make sure that uh, the feature actually works and that it perhaps even removes some of the features or some of the bugs that could prevent me from like using 
using my iPhone the way that I want it to. And that would be about it. These are some of the basic things you can try out to make sure that your volume buttons do work and that, that they work properly the way that they should. Hope the video helped you out for more content and tutorials. Subscribe to the Fox Tech channel and also check out the next video right here. Thanks a lot. See you later.